Local 10 Sports with Clay Barrera. The Miami Open is rolling into town this week. It's a chance to watch some of the best tennis players in the world and also learn about the game. We got a chance to learn about a different version of the game, one you can play anywhere, even inside a hotel ballroom. It's tennis with a twist. Or should we say a pop? Nice. That unmistakable sound is pop tennis. And while the name is new, the game is more than 100 years old. This version is a new fresh take on paddle tennis. It pops. It's like hitting the ball in an empty tennis stadium, right? It kind of has that great sound of popping and solid. Lee Spinago played traditional tennis for years, including a collegiate career at Penn State. But he walked away from the game for a while until he heard that pop. I went over to Venice Beach where they're playing a lot of pop tennis and it took me maybe three minutes to understand the game and realize, wow, what a great, fun, exciting sport this is. So what makes pop tennis different from regular tennis? For one, the rackets more like paddles that give you that pop. The ball is lower compression, which means it's easier to volley, but it also doesn't bounce as high, so you have to get low and drive through the ball. While the game is different than traditional tennis in many ways, the similarities make it a great way to improve your traditional tennis game too. It's a feeder sport, right? It teaches you the basics. Get down, bend your knees, drive through the ball, come to the net, put the ball away. All right, now I haven't picked up a real tennis racket in about 10 years, but my understanding is this is gonna transfer pretty well, so let's give it a shot. The one thing I found quickly being six foot four is that the game forces you to get down in a proper tennis stance for your ground strokes. And the paddles and lower compression ball do make it much easier to volley. It takes tennis to the people for all ages, all abilities, and all backgrounds. Now, the court is also softer, Lori and Janine, so it's easier on your joints. And while it's smaller, I'm not going to lie. I was sweating once that was over. It was a pretty good workout. <laughs> now, the goal for those spreading the sport is they want to make it available to everybody and also push to one day make it an Olympic sport. There are lots of places to play right here in South Florida. We're going to put it up on our website for you at local10.com. We're going to get you guys out there, right? Sure. All right, let's do it. And it would be great in the cold weather, right? Very true, inside. especially if you got something inside. Uh, you know, we don't get a whole lot of the cold weather around here. But, yeah, but even the rain or when it's, you know, the South Florida deluge. Absolutely, sure. absolutely. That's coming. All right.